Our duty as soldiers is to protect humanity, whatever the cost. We're going in. Get tactical, Marines! Welcome to Halo Fest. We are coming at you live from the Avalon in Hollywood, where in just a minute, you're going to get a whole lot of Master Chief beam right into your face holes. I'm Freddie Wong. A very handsome Freddie Wong. Thank you. I may add. I'm a very that. average dressed Blair Herder right now, but we're here to celebrate all things Master Chief and Halo. We're going to be joined in just a little bit by Xbox Live's Major Nelson, a.k.a. Larry Herb, and I, Justine. But first, we need to talk about a tiny game that everybody in the world currently knows about, and that is Halo 5 Guardians. Tonight we have exclusive content from the upcoming game, including a world premiere exhibition match of the Halo 5 multiplayer beta and a brand new multiplayer map. And if that's not enough for you, you greedy so-and-sos, we've also got the world premiere of Halo Nightfall, uh, executive produced by a little filmmaker who's done some good things in Hollywood, Mr. Ridley Scott. Yeah, I heard about him. I heard about that guy, yeah. And on top of all that, we are celebrating the release of Halo, the Master Chief Collection. For those of you at home who don't know what Freddy just said, I don't really know why you're watching this. I think you're a little confused, but we should probably fill them in. Yeah, yeah let's yeah. fill them in a little bit. So, for the first time ever, the entire Master Chief saga is going to be playable on a single console, the Xbox One. Halo, the Master Chief Collection includes all four of the original Halo titles, but most importantly, yes, it also includes Halo 2, and it gives Halo 2 the anniversary treatment that everybody's been waiting for. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what that is, it basically takes Halo 2, gives it this stunning next-gen remastering. Oh, yes. uh, in addition to looking beautiful on the Xbox One, you're getting six multiplayer Macs that have also been completely remastered, and they look absolutely incredible. Oh yeah, everything's sharp, HD. That's funny because I can't wait to play this. To be honest, uh, I, I'm looking forward to uh, all the times to be able to get online and uh, get wrecked by a bunch of 12 year olds. I'm super bad at Halo. Yeah. So my memories of Halo actually it revolve around me ordering a large pizza and then hauling a CRT over to my friend's house. Gotta have the CRT. To, to, to rock the LAN party. So I'm excited that I can now be wrecked by you from afar and I don't have to carry a TV to your house. Exactly. No, no need at all anymore to bring TVs to friends as you do it from the comfort of your living room. Yes, and speaking of comfort, there are a lot of people inside right now that are very excited about what they're about to see and I think Major Nelson is currently with them. Major Nelson, can you hear me, Major Nelson? You don't have to yell, it's microphone. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Major Nelson, are you there? Major? Major? All right, welcome to the inside of the mothership. Check this out. We've turned this entire theater 
It's Halo Fest. This, this place, it looks amazing. The lights, the Master Chiefs, it's unbelievable. Now out in front we have about 500 people. They're starting, these are super fans. They're gonna be sitting in here. They're gonna take a look at some awesome stuff. They're gonna get hands-on with the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta and the brand new Master Chief collection. Now as part of the massive Halo Fest celebration, 343 Industries held the first ever Master Chief Collection launch tournament this past weekend in Los Angeles, and in the end, one team was victorious. Hey everyone, we're here at the ESL studio in Burbank, California for the Halo The Master Chief Collection Launch Invitational Tournament where 32 of the world's greatest Halo players are going to be competing for their stake of $50,000. That's right, we got a collection of legendary Halo pros who made a name for themselves 10 years ago in Halo 2 and now celebrating with us Halo 2 anniversary as well as some of the top gaming teams in the world as well. That's right. Speaking of Halo 2 Anniversary, these players are going to be competing in a variety of maps such as Lockdown, Shrine, as well as Warlord remastered maps of some of the classic Halo 2 maps that we saw back in the day. Yeah, some of the biggest teams to watch out for this weekend are Optic Gaming, one of the biggest names in esports today, as well as Believe the Hype, VWS, and Straight Rip. That's right. And these players are going to be competing in a variety of game types such as Bomb, Slayer, Capture the Flag, and King of the Hill. Let's check out some of the highlights. It is time to hop into the action. Yeah, he's, he's still hanging around Rebel Tower trying to hang out and uh, get these kills right now. Five two players picks up the double kill right there. That's going to be two. Triple See if he can turn three out there. And yes, he has a triple. He gets it. What a play out of Flame Sword. Let's see, trying to toss that flag up, switch over to Snipe down here, as they're going to get the toss up, flag is up, and they're going to get they their flag with seven seconds left. Amazing wow. play from Optic there. Fear itself is on the way, no shield, but and he gets gonna it. Be it, and that's going to do it for game number one as the agency oh takes goodness. it. What a matchup there between these two teams. of STK trapped bottom green once again. They are trapped here. BWS uh -oh. displaying amazing map control right there. So BWS is rallying back. Make no mistake about it. Yeah, they oh. have legit able to the lead. bottom. They have gained the lead and legit is going to be able to secure the lead, making it 40 to 37. They are all over the map. Oh, and oh. See ya. Knocks him off of the map there, tells him, see you later, buddy. Ryan, who goes for a trip. Formal has a sniper trying to go for that shot from long range. No scope, not going to happen, bud. But he's oh. going to be able to get the headshot, making it 48 to 48. Maniac knows he has to make a play. The rocket flying through. Oh, no. Victory X staying alive. Maniac Here pushing forward, and he gets oh. the kill. BTH <laughs> managed to win this one. A nail biter as they shut out the agency 2 to 0. That was an incredible start to the tournament, and we've had some amazing matches over the last couple of days. That's right, some of the top teams in the tournament, Optic Gaming, VWS, and STK, all had to fight through the loser's bracket, but in the end, it was Believe the Hype and Straight Rippin in the finals. But now Straight Rippin, though, Oh my gosh, look at Ryan New staying alive it's on that ledge. Amazing, amazing play there, using the new geometry. And that'll be Maniac, another one right in front. That's gonna be a double kill there. Oh! And a triple kill, as that was absolutely amazing. Two seconds separating them. If BTH wins this, they will reset the series. Maniac holding this down, extending it, and oh. yes, no, wait, this is gonna do it. Let's see what's going on here. As t Square is gonna be an end, no, not gonna be the case. 185, 183, BTH is gonna take this one to a second best of five series. Oh my gosh. This is going to be it. Formal now going for the plant. Can he do it? He's halfway there. Nate's flying in. He has no shield and the bomb's going to fall down again. Looks like APG, if we switch over to him, might be in position to finish this. He has to win the battle against T-Square. He wins the Way battle. The halfway there. The is he going to get it? Be 
yet. He wins the game. That's right. Roy accidentally jumped off the map, and it looks like Believe the Hype is about to take the lead. Oh, but no. Straight is laying down good fire. They're getting a lucky bottom battle rifle tower spawn right here. They can put the pressure on 203 to 201. We'll see T Squared now pushing him. Let's switch over to Tom if he can get this kill. We'll see. They're clearing out this base. They Straight got the time. T Squared, the last player in the oh, hill. No. Let's go ahead and see what Roy's up to. Roy has an angle. 205 to 205. BTH gets the last few seconds, and BTH has won the tournament. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations. Believe the Hype. What a series that was. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Congratulations to Believe the Hype. They are your Halo, the Master Chief Collection Launch Invitational Champions. That's right. Believe the Hype fought hard all weekend long, and ultimately, they were the first team to take down Stray Rip, forcing a second series and closing out with some solid objective play. That's right, guys. It was an incredible event. We want to thank everyone for watching, and I think it's safe to say the Halo Esports is back. If Master Chief was standing right next to me, I would ask to see his face. Can't wait to see what's under the helmet. Yeah, yeah, lift the visor. I want to see what's under there. He's probably got great skin, because yeah. that, that gold shield is looks like it's a, got some sort of UV protection. And like from running around, just shooting people constantly, it gets steamy in there. Just like sweaty, just, just nice, the moistest, but like, almost, like, softest, I feel like, creamiest skin. Like almost like a dumpling. I bet he's ugly. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, he's done so much for us fighting off the Covenant and all, but I bet he's kind of a butterface. What if he took off his mask? Yeah. And it was Kathy Bates. I'd be like, it like, all makes sense. I knew it this whole time. All right, here to break down more of what the Master Chief Collection has in store for you lucky fans at home from 343 Industries, executive producer Dan Ayub and franchise development director Frank O'Connor. Gentlemen, thank you guys so much for being here. Oh, great Appreciate to be here. It. So guys, uh, the game's been out in multiple countries now for about a day. What are the people saying about it? No, we're thrilled. Yeah, we started to go live. We're starting to see people, you know, get online. Populations are going up. UK just came online a couple hours ago. Um, it's great. People are really enjoying the experience. Um, I think what's really satisfying for us is people are just really, you know, you work on this thing for a long time. You never know how it's going to feel when your baby gets out there. And, yeah. you know, people are liking the baby, uh, which is great. They're loving the value. You know, the 100 maps, the unified UI, all of the other stuff we've got packed in there. I mean, right. this is just, we feel like this is just a Halo lover's dream. So we're thrilled. It is the most stuff in one thing <laughs> of all time. And I want to get back to the things you just said in a second. But, Frank, first I want to ask you, as someone who worked on the original Halo 2, to see see it evolve into what it is today. How does it feel to stand here right now to be talking about Halo 2 anniversary and everything going on with the Master Chief Collection? I, I mean, it's this is the 10th anniversary, uh, almost day and day to the release of Halo 2. And Halo 2, I think, is where Halo really kind of exploded in mainstream consciousness. It was a huge game on X Xbox and, uh, and and a huge part of people's lives, but we it kind of went worldwide with Halo 2 just through Xbox Live. And so it's fun to be here celebrating that. It's a lot of pressure. we got a lot of uh, stuff that we have to take care of. Um, but as Dan said, the populations are picking up. The Kiwis have probably gone to sleep by now, some of them. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I just can't wait to get back and actually play it tomorrow. Awesome, man. So somebody should tell that guy that the Warthog is not actually stealable, so we'll get on that. Uh, and then Dan, back to you as well. You brought up earlier over 100 maps, unified UI. What exactly does that mean? I don't think people really understand just how special and what a tremendous technical achievement that is. Yeah, I mean, there, there was a lot of things we had to figure out <laughs> to do this thing. I mean, yeah, you, you just look at the overall of this thing. You've got, you know, Halo 1 through 4, you've got over 100 multiplayer maps. That is quite literally every map that has ever shipped for any one of these games. Right. And, you know, the UI is kind of the anchor that holds all of these things together because we wanted to give it to the player in kind of like a very clean package to be able to play through. Right. So what the unified UI lets us do is, you know, we can unlock all of the games from the beginning so people can move through this however they want. Um, they can achievement hunt really, really easily. Yeah. You know, this thing's got 4,000 gamer score. You can go in, pick the achievement you want, launch right into it. And, you know, the 100, over 100 maps. It's every map you've ever, you know, coag, fan favorites. Like, all of these things are in this map. And it's really like an anthology for the Halo player. Right. It's We're, we're ex really excited. It's a gigantic thank you to everybody that supported you. It really players, is. This right? is really a love letter to the fans right. uh, for sticking with us. Right. And so there's a lot of new things that people can experience. One of the most important things and something that people are going to experience in Halo Nightfall is actually a new character, Spartan Locke. Frank, how does he actually fit into the story here? 
you'll you'll find out a lot more about Spartan Locket in 2015 when when Halo 5 uh, Guardians launches. But this is kind of the origin story of a new hero in the Halo universe. He's uh, he's here to deny actually the the actor Mike Coulter. Beautiful skin. I mean, <laughs> handsome, tall. I hate him. I want to take um, part of it home with me, but that's yeah, not but legal. it's it's his origin story, and I think more importantly than just telling you a little bit about his background, it gives you some indication of the direction that he's got to go as a character, and that's not necessarily all about heroics. Right. You see a little bit of it in the pilot for Nightfall, which is going to air later, uh, and uh, and he'll really start coming into his own in episode two, and I, I think people are going to hopefully uh, learn to love him and maybe be suspicious of him, and there's, there's a little more nuance to his character than straight heroics. So my favorite part of this interview is Frank like physically restraining himself from talking more about that. He's like, and then, you know what? You guys are just going to have to watch and play yeah. the game. Uh, guys, thank you so much for being here. Congratulations on a such a tremendous Pleasure. achievement, and thank you as a fan of the series for actually doing this for us as well. For now, let's uh, check in with Justine, who's got some celebrities who are probably, no, definitely just as excited as me. I'm Justine, we're here on the blue carpet. I'm with Bonnie. Now, this is such a huge time for you guys. Halo is finally coming to Xbox One. It is so exciting. I mean, for us at the studio, this has been years worth of very long, hard work. And we're so excited to finally be able to bring Master Chief to Xbox One. Super exciting. And I mean, Halo fans are so passionate. I mean, why do you think that is? I think it's because Halo brought the FPS to the console and it also brought an incredibly epic sci-fi story. And I think people just want to follow. They want to be in that universe and experience that next adventure. Now, 343 in Halo, there's so much going on with you guys. What can we expect? <laughs> The Master Chief Collection has Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 4, then we have Halo Nightfall, we have the Halo 5 Beta, and then the channel goes live, it actually went live today, which kind of brings everything together with a digital um, network, interactive digital network, and then, because that's not enough, we have Spartan Strike coming out on December 12th, so it is Halo, Halo, Halo. I mean, this is crazy, now I'm super excited because I love playing multiplayer, so we actually have some reveals tonight, is there anything that you want to tell us? reveals tonight. Oh, the, the, the beta. The beta. So we will be seeing the beta tonight and it's um, we'll be seeing two maps I think on the beta tonight. So the beta starts on December 29th and we'll have three modes, seven maps and tonight you'll get a sneak peek. I can't wait and I know everybody at home is very excited too. So thank you so much. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. I've got some of the biggest Halo fans getting hands-on time right now with Halo the Master Chief Collection and it doesn't get much bigger than this. This is the super fans of the 405th industry here with Ben Choi. Ben, you're with the 405th, right? Yep. The, the LA area chapter. Yeah, we are a very large organization, actually kind of worldwide. Uh, we were founded a few years ago by a man named Adam Grumbo. Okay. His idea was that we'd create an organization so that we could share with each other how to build armor. Like everyone you see here has right. built their own armor. So, so you're telling me is you, you built this. How long did it take you to build this armor? Well, a few years actually. Tell me about the first time you played Halo. Uh, the first time I played Halo, I was actually in college. Okay. I was actually this crazy Nintendo fanboy. Uh -huh. And then my roommate brought in an Xbox. And I was like, what is this thing? Now, is this the original Xbox? Yeah, the original yeah. Xbox. And we played through like Halo campaign. Right. And I just opened my eyes. And I think like the next week I was off buying an Xbox right. for Halo 2. Right. And you just got your Xbox One for, for, for the uh, Halo, the Master Chief Collection. Now, let's be clear. This is amazing. This is all four award-winning games, 100 multiplayer maps for the first time on one console. Does that blow your mind? Because it blows my mind. I know. I'm going to just be on this thing for the rest of the year. Now, you've had your chance to kind of get hands-on time. What are your first impressions? Well, I just love that it's so smooth now. It's like 60 frames per second. Yeah. And like the anniversary edition is just amazing. I'm really happy to like look at those beautiful graphics and the cutscenes. Like, yeah. wow. Yeah, it's just mind blowing, isn't it? Now, yeah. now, when you get home tonight or tomorrow morning, what is the first mode and map that you're looking forward to that you're going to jump in and say, this is it? Well, we're probably going to sit down and play the entire campaign from start to finish. Like well, let's be clear. Modes. It's all the campaigns. You can actually play all the entire story, one, two, three, four, right through. Yeah, I'm not going to be getting much sleep for a while. Right. <laughs> now, now, of course, the Halo 5 multiplayer beta is part of this. You'll be able to play that later this year. How excited are you for that? Oh, God, extremely. I mean, aside from the fact that it's going we have the next Halo and all the new right. gameplay, and all honesty, we want to look at the new armor. <laughs> yeah, really. So, you want? wait a minute. So, you might want to get started now, right? That's pretty much what we're All right, well, you know, on. I don't want to talk about Halo 5. We want to we show it, right? Right? So, okay. should we show the future of Halo? All right, so here's an in-depth look at Halo 5 Guardians. To me, a Spartan is speed, power, agility. This vision, this myth of a Spartan as a superhero, completely 
wrapped in technology. That thousand pound jet fighter on legs or tank on legs, you know, it's this total destruction machine. When you see Chief coming down out of orbit, hitting the ground and, you know, doing all of that stuff, we want to bring that into the gameplay itself. In typical Halo, you have the already awesome sandbox of the weapon, the melee, and the grenade. We wanted to add these Spartan abilities in as a fourth layer that everyone has, so it's equal footing. They're baseline traits. Every single person who wants them can have them. You sprint as fast as the other players, you jump as high as the other players, you clamber like they do. What might end up being on the most sort of overarching ability is this thruster pack ability these little retro rockets built into your Spartan armor. It can give you a speed boost while you're running, but you can use it in midair. Jump up in the air and I turn my stabilizers on, these jets kick in. But you can go back forward all directions. We're not really limiting these things. We're actually allowing you to chain them. So for me, the thruster pack is awesome and allows you to do other new moves as well. It actually enhances the thing we call the ground pound, which is dashing down to the ground and then creating this kind of shock wave splash effect. When you jump up, you actually can mount on top of edges throughout the world. There's really satisfying things like just about making a jump and hitting the clamber button at the last second and making it the way you felt like you should have made it. Once you reach terminal velocity with sprints, you'll get an indication that if you hit crouch during that time, you'll launch into a slide. You can slide into cover more quickly. Uh, you can slide into a kill with a shotgun. You kind of really have to make an important decision on the battlefield. So once you gain that terminal velocity, you can use slide, but you also can choose to charge. You hit your melee button, you just bash through anyone. We know like there are people that love Sprint and there are people that just feel like Sprint has no place in Halo. And so for us, it was about how do we balance that? How do we counter that? connected it to your shield, so while you're sprinting, your shields don't recharge. If they keep running, their shields will never come back up and somebody else is gonna take them down. I think that balance is really interesting. Smart Scope Fiction is actually, it's been built into the game since day one. You were doing it with the pistol. It was cybernetically linked to your helmet. The, the Spartan would see what was ultimately just a zoom. Every weapon now has a zoom in. Holographic image comes up, it's all slick. It helps me with some types of weapons, especially rapid fire weapons in my case, but otherwise I tend to just aim, aim from the hip anyway. Hip fire mode is accurate, same as it ever was. If it becomes such that everybody feels like they have to be using smart scope in order to be competitive, then we've broken the game. You're going to use your smart scope and zoom in with any weapon, but you also can be de-scoped out of it by the enemy. <laughs> There are so many different tactics that come into play, and that's something that we've tried to build into all of the abilities for Halo 5. Yo, get pumped, everybody, because here to answer literally any question you could possibly have about the upcoming Halo 5 multiplayer beta is, oh, hey, what's up, guys? Josh and Quinn Del Hoyo. How's it going, guys? It's, it's going, going great. How you hey, doing? so listen, you guys introduced a whole bunch of new Spartan abilities in, and I've seen some of these. What was the point of this? What's the, what was the goal of implementing that? So, I mean, we really wanted to get right to the heart of what it means to be a Spartan and really dive into, you know, what it would be to be this super soldier that's wrapped in technology, has this amazing armor, all the, the kind of heightened mobility that you would have, uh, be able to do on the battlefield, the power, and really just deliver on that in the core game. You're telling me all my fantasies of being a space marine are coming true, finally? Finally, yeah, you're going to be able to do it all. Uh, Quinn, last night you guys got to saw, uh, you guys got to see some uh, pro players take the game and give it a spin. So what was that like seeing pro players? Guys who were ridiculous at this game try out these Spartan abilities. You know, it was it was really awesome. One, one of the things that I really noticed is how fast they really took to these abilities. And they, they picked them up, they started using them, they were enjoying themselves, and us as, as a crowd, we loved it too. And and in a way, we've, we've seen a lot of this already because we have our own pro team on site that we've hired. So we've seen a lot of great stuff already on this game. That's awesome. Josh, I'm a lonely, lonely man, and I spend most of my time in single player, so I've seen a lot and heard a lot about the multiplayer side of things, but what can you tell me about the Guardians single player campaign? So, well, one of the things that we're doing tonight, we're actually showing uh, the first couple of episodes from Nightfall, mm -hmm. and Nightfall introduces a brand new character to the Halo universe in Agent Locke, 
and he's going to play a really important role in the campaign for Halo 5 Guardians. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it and also seeing Nightfall later on. Quinn, what do you hope to get out of the beta? The beta is going to be all about our new arena experience, right? And we are so pumped for this thing because it is a true beta. It's the earliest we've ever had a beta for Halo. So we're going to be looking at how our services are handled, how everything is measured with our weapons, the balancing, the maps, the exploits. I know exploits are going to be found. And we are super pumped to, to have that come online so we can get in there as well and play with the fans. So of all the Spartan abilities, which one do you think is going to get nerfed first? <laughs> you've, been, you've been playing it. Uh, uh, nerf first. You know, I would, I would, I wouldn't be surprised if it was maybe uh, thruster pack. Thruster pack is pretty powerful. Lets you go do some really cool things. So yeah, we'll I'm, see. I'm gonna go with ground pound. I, I think ground pound. It's still, you know, we play with it a lot, but we want to see how it, how it plays out in the wild when you've got millions of people taking to it. Yeah. Um, and so yeah. ground pound thruster pack combo. You hear that, everyone? That's gonna be the secret to winning <laughs> at the upcoming bid. Guys, thanks very much for joining us. Now let's take a quick look and see what happens when a bunch of nerds who are paid to play video games all day face off against a Halo Pro team. Four o'clock every day is playtest, which is basically like church. Four o'clock is the, the true competitive time when everyone gets in and scrappy. They get the build and they play at their desks or here in the play lab, which we have behind me, and play Halo 5 and we just bang on it. It can definitely get heated at times. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Oh, we have a lot of trash talkers on the team, of course. You know, I'm swearing and cursing and blinding. Halo kind of brings it out of you. And then it also escalates this. This guy pulled a scumbag move, in my opinion. Don't take credit for the worst name that came before People that. People get really pissed off and they just start yelling at each other. Just having a great time. Finding a balance between making the abilities accessible and making them meaningful is, is weirdly difficult. But we try to get as big a variety of players in as we possibly can, so we have our pro team playing, obviously. Pro team has been amazing to have. It's a resource I've never had on a team before where you have such a, a rabid, vocal community and then you bring some of them in who are really good at the game. I'm under, I'm under. Feel about me, feel about me. They do things that you would never expect. They find any, any, upper hand that they can find in the game, they're going to exploit. And that's that's good. That's what we want to see because then we can fill those holes. And so we knew that if we had those people on site, that would make our game so much better because we would have all that knowledge. It's a really good shortcut to good test data. In terms of playing the pro team, that is a horribly demoralizing experience. Uh, that does not end well, playing against pro team. Basically just getting pounded on, brutalized. You are this little baby mouse and they are like this gigantic puma just batting you around and then finally putting you out of your misery. And that's not fun. We're in the play lab, it's pros versus devs. This isn't happening! Uh, I wouldn't say I'm nervous. This isn't happening! Yeah, it's more so anxious, I think is the right word. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go. Oh, now take oh, come on. Blank, blank, guys. You're all alone. Tower, tower, tower three, tower two. Dead, dead. Don't try to ground pound me, son. It's so bad. Oh. Are you going to try oh, next time? One. Enemy team facing the elimination. <laughs> I'd, prob I'd probably be called the cheapest player. <laughs> that would probably be me. I uh, do a lot of uh, what I call play to win. We're kind of the old school beta where it's like, our, here's our software that isn't finished yet. Honestly, we're nervous about it, right? Like we think, we think we've got it all figured out and then we're gonna throw it out there and everyone's gonna break it. 
And so for us, we come in, we play the game every day, but there's only so many people here at 343, there's only so much we can do. But now, this is about opening it up to the world. Tuning and balancing is the core of the arena experience, and if we get that tuning wrong, then uh, we want to hear about it. Taking that feedback and trying to make the game better, that's, that's what the beta is all about. I mean, when you get a bunch of creatives, there's always uh, disagreements. You might want to dial that back. You might want to turn it up. And that's what's great about this beta. We're getting this out there for people to really try. The second that the beta goes live, we're all going to be online playing with the fans. Yeah, my gamer tag is D's. You want some? Come get it. All right. So. <laughs> for at least the first two or three hours, I expect to be very competitive with the world before they figure this game out. Good job. <laughs> and I'm gonna savor those two to three hours of glory where I am stomping everybody else at my own game, and then they're going to turn the tables on me, and it's not gonna be pretty. There's so much creativity. Everybody has the same moves. It's up to you. How do you employ them on the battlefield? Kind of chaotic, but at the same time, tactical decision-making that everyone has at their disposal. And it is that chess match. Halo's got a new set of teeth. I mean, this game has got some fangs on it. You ready? Have you been practicing? Get sh on scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> and that, my friend, is a level of skill I will never, ever possess. The trick is to not mind that you're not any good at the game. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That does make it all better. It does. Let's check in with Justine and see what's going on outside at the Azure Carpet. That's fancy for blue. I'm here on the carpet. I'm with Aisha. How are you? I'm good. I'm doing great. How are you? This is so exciting. So we're here at Halo Fest and we're celebrating so many things. Everything Halo. I mean, what are you most excited about? Look, I love this franchise. I've played every game. I actually did a voice for Halo Reach, so it's obviously a franchise near. It was actually my console uh, gateway drug, so it's the first game that got me into console gaming. Um, so I'm just excited to see what happens. What you know, from what I understand, Five is going to be a continuation of the Master Chief saga. It's great to be returning to that character. It's a character we all know and we love playing. Um, but you know, bigger, better, badder, galactical madness, and uh, and also with the new engine and the new frame rate. I'm just excited to see how this game looks because I think Halo has always been a really beautiful game. But with the next gen boxes, it's like, what, what's that going to bring us? You know, not just in terms of look and feel, but in terms of like play rate. So I'm really excited about that as well. It's, uh, it, it's like somebody has taken the, your beloved car in high school and said, oh, we put like 25, uh, we put 30 grand into it. And it looks great. And, and we put a bigger engine. So it looks great. It moves the same way that Halo 3 and 4 do. And so it, it it feels great. It's great. I even was going to the first tutorial. I'm like, oh, look at that. I remember when I got that shield. Um, but then they let me play a little bit of Halo 5. The multiplayer. The multiplayer. What do you think? Because there's so many different things that they've added, like the Spartan abilities. Yes. What, what, what was that like? They showed me a couple of them. Did you I, have a favorite? Uh, I think the instant boner was great. Um, OK, I don't think that's actually the technical term. Master Chief. OK. Hit it. Master Chief. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know what? You're right. Stop. I'm Stop. awful. Stop. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You know what? Because it is Xbox, I will do something because okay. I'm here because I love Xbox. Normally, I would not whore myself, but I love Xbox so much that I'm thinking of dating my Xbox One. I just heard a rumor. A maybe, rumor? maybe it's we true. We just met. Like, I know. A ago. But I hear you have a 360, and you're about to upgrade. And this is what's going to make you do it. I do. My friends and I in college, uh, we uh, throughout we've been playing Xbox and then Xbox 360, and then I feel like this is the time to do it. It'll be a platform for all of us to be able to play together as friends, and also finally to play all the games that we played so much on like a new platform with better graphics. How do you say no to that? Well, that's it here for the blue carpet. Now we're going to head on inside and see what's going on where all the actual fun is happening. 
Earlier this weekend, we watched pro gamers from around the country compete for a chance to be the first ever to play the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta. Here's a look at the madness that ensues when you unleash eight highly competitive gamers on each other in the first ever Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer exhibition match. Hey everyone, we're back here at the ESL studio. I'm Golden Boy, joined by Bravo, and it is time for the world premiere of the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta. That's right, we've got some of the best Halo teams in the world here joining us today, and two teams that we're competing this weekend. It's Straight Rippin' and Optic Gaming. They're gonna be facing off in a match of Slayer on Truth. Now, for those of you guys who may not know, Truth is actually an homage to one of the greatest arena maps in the history of Halo, Midship. That's right, now let's jump straight into the action. And it's gonna be Optic Gaming facing off against Straight ripping. Let's go ahead and kick things off here with Ace. Yeah, Ace right away using that new thruster pack to jump up here to this top of blue band now pushing across. Also, Ryan Noob on straight ripping is on the third level of the pink tower, setting up the ground oh, pound, mm. but does not connect with that. Of course, the ground pound, a new Spartan ability in Halo 5 Guardians, the multiplayer beta, and that will allow you to take out an opponent only if you hit a direct kill. Yep, and uh, I actually saw one of the uh, players holding the Prophet's Bane, which is the new legendary energy sword that is uh, going to be found in the multiplayer beta. If you actually grab it, and let's uh, switch over, because Straight Sick has it finding him. He's actually going to go for it here as he thruster packs to the side. That's a new thing that you could do by oh. pressing the B button. Straight Sick is going to get taken out. Let's jump over to T-squared as he comes off of the respawn, but the Prophet's Bane Legendary Energy Sword, and when you have it, you get increased movement speed, and with the Smart Scope, which we'll get into in a little bit, you actually get increased lunge range. And look, another player from the blue team oh. has it, and T-squared is going to get taken up. That was going to be Pistola with the Prophet's Bane. Yeah, Pistola, of course, a uh, skilled Halo player going up against another Halo legend, T-squared, gets the better of him with that Prophet's Bane. Now, using the Thruster Pack to go backwards, making sure he can retreat to safety, also picking up the assist. Nice stuff here from Optic Gaming. They're up 8-5. to five. Now, you see Pistola here with the battle rifle, the trusty battle rifle that everyone knows and love in the Halo world. And wait a minute, the Prophet's Bane is going to win for the first one, able to take him out with the second. That player, though, pushing up over to the tower as uh, it's uh, actually going to be Pink Tower 2. You can see it right there, right at the top of your screen, oh. or at the top of the map. And all the callouts courtesy of the pro team at 343. And one thing I want to take note of as well, you saw that his shields did not recharge right away. That's because if you're sprinting, that bar there does not go down. And you can see it actually trailing down just a little bit. And as soon as that happens, that's when the shield as well as your health comes back That's right. Play. If you have been damaged at all, your shields will not recharge if you do continue to sprint. So that's a new balancing mechanic that's going to be brand new to Halo 5 Guardians. Yep, and uh, let's take a look over at Roy of Straight Ripping, who has the DMR making a return here in Halo 5 Guardians. Good for the long range, though, but if you maneuver too much, you might lose yourself on the uh, site there. Roy trying to get away with a thruster. Not going to happen at all. Who do you want to jump on board with, Bravo? Know, let's go ahead and see what's going on with Snipe Down. Of course, a well-known Halo player just landed that new perfect kill medal, which is a perfect four-shot kill with the BR. Now gives his team a 17-11 to 11 lead. As a reminder, this is the first time these players are getting another Ooh. perfect kill. Snipe Down is shooting perfectly right now. He's finally going to get taken out probably around the pink one, but as a reminder, this is the first time these teams are playing this game and it has been a great match so far. And uh, you saw uh, Snipe Down utilize the smart scope there for the battle rifle. Now, the cool thing about this is that D-Scope is making a return to Halo 5 Guardians, but you get full mobility. Pretty much it's as you know and love it. And uh, of course, two times zoom on the battle rifle. Nothing has really changed there. Snipe Down having to drop away as he gets cleaned up. 22 to 15 as we jump over to Ace. Let's see what Ace is up to here. As you said, he has the DMR laying down some really nice shots and weakening an opponent. It looks like his teammate is going to push in there and try to clean up that kill uh, and try to pick up this base. But it looks like two players there on the red team. Picks up one, gets the headshot, and cannot Ooh. connect on the second. Gets taken out. Yeah, his uh, aim was a little bit all over the place there. Now looking, uh, I'm going to see what's up with Flamesword. He also has a DMR. These uh, players on Optic Gaming seem to be favoring the DMR quite a bit. Yeah, they do right now. And it's actually done quite well. If you see, the score is in their favor now. 20 to 17 with just over eight minutes left in the match and as a reminder you're taking, taking a first look at the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta this is a true beta and a work in progress looking forward to bringing the, you this next month it's coming on online December 29th and it's included within the Master Chief collection that's right guys and you see flame sword taking advantage of the thruster pack but remember though the thruster pack has a four about a four second cooldown let's say right and uh, 
you can't just spam it all over the place. It's meant for one of those quick getaways, but not so much uh, for you to just be able to run away, right? You have to use it sparingly, and that is uh, part of what they're implementing here into Halo 5 Guardians. A lot of the things come with trade-offs. If you want to use a ground pound, you expose yourself in the air, shoulder charge, you miss, you're pretty much done at that point. There's a lot of things that you have to be very liberal with. You can't just go around doing it willy-nilly, or else, uh, you know, you will pay the price. Yeah, here's Flamesword now, the captain of Optic Gaming's Halo team. They're doing quite well now, 32 to 19. As he looks across the map, great teamwork there. He picks up that kill, extending their lead a little bit further. Yeah, looking around to see what's up with Ryanoob here, a player who's uh, adapted pretty well to some of the new mechanics here in Halo 5 Guardians, running away. Remember, if he keeps sprinting, he will not be able to recharge his shields. That's and right. despite him continuously running, he has to wait for that bar to go down. And now the shields come back up. Again, give or take. You can't just run around the whole map. You have to be careful. Yeah, let's talk a little bit also more about this new Slayer game type. You know, playing to 50 kills as usual, 4v4, 12 minutes on the clock. Right now you're seeing Assault Rifle starts. Uh, one thing that has returned is weapons on map. No more ordnance. And also power weapons are now deployed with the all-new weapon patch system. That's going to put power weapons on static timers. For example, the Prophet's Bane will come up every four minutes on this map. Yep, and another thing also to bear in mind, you had mentioned, right, positioning is going to come back into play. It's going to be super important in Halo 5 Guardians. If you want to utilize things like the ground pound, the shoulder charge, you need to be careful because if you do, you're going to give up key positioning around the map. So again, give or take, you have to be careful about those things. Ryan Noob going for the challenge, putting down a couple shots, his teammates waiting and uh, seeing if he's going to push up there. And Ryan Noob looking to support. He's able to get that headshot Avenger medal. Yeah, right now, straight rip and still down by 10 kills, 28 to 38. And Optic Gaming still controlling this map as well as the scoreboard. Yeah, and now Ryan Noob with this DMR looking great. I mean, I have to say, his shot has been impeccable. And uh, we'll go over to Roy as well, who has the battle rifle, wow. hit the perfect kill, killing spree, and the protector medal as he drifts away 38 to 30. It seems like the red team straight ripping, trying to come back. Yeah, right now, as you said, uh, down by eight kills, but slowly uh, reducing that margin that the Optic Gaming squad has on them. Roy, a uh, player who traditionally has a fantastic shot, and that's no different here in Halo 5 Guardians. Looking for that kill, and he's able to get it, finding another one across. And that's going to be no. He will not be able to net that one. But an assist, though, and that's good for them. 34 to 38, 35 wow. 38. Straight Rippin is coming back into this one. That's an amazing comeback. It looks like t almost 10 unanswered kills right now. Now, only a three kill match. They were just down by 10. Picks up that headshot. Currently has the stabilizers on. That will hold you in the air as you aim while in the air. You can toggle that off. Keep in mind, this is the earliest the Halo has ever had a beta, so we That's have a right. lot of different control schemes as well as toggles so we can get feedback on what players really love about the game. Yeah, the purpose is to let you guys have, uh, you know, input into this experience. Now it's going to be 40 to 38. It is a close game, a two-point game here. What better way to kick things off with this reveal? Roy, though, unfortunately, has to be careful. Now jumping over to Snipedown, who's looking to continue to pad out to this lead as Optic Gaming leads by four. That's right. Now Snipedown was the player who just took down Roy, so I wanted to switch over to him. He sees a player on his radar nearby. He does have that battle rifle out. We'll, we'll see if he can continue to deal the same damage he has done to help his team get this far. Oh, wait a minute. Two wow. players are actually going to be red to snipe down, getting shut down right away. But Ryan Oob here for straight rip and looking to bring his team back with this DMR. And he's going to continue to just float around the map over by Big Tower. And he does see that red X making it 41 to 44. As you see on the bottom right of your screen, Prophet's Bane will be spawning in 10 seconds. So both teams are going to be watching. That's because we're at the four minute mark. That means that power weapon will be coming up in just a second. But it looks like Optic Gaming knows that it's going to be coming up as well. And Pistola has it in hand. Yeah, Pistola with the Prophet's Bane. This could be a game changer. 45 to 43, three minutes left. Three minutes and 50 oh! seconds left on the clock. Pistola is going to get taken out with the battle rifle there. And he has to be careful off the respawn because you know what, there are so many uh, you know, the, the battle rifle DMR are scattered all across the map, across various players. He finally is able to get a battle rifle. 45-45 tied game. Here we go. Only five kills remain for both teams. These two neck and neck and their first hands-on with the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta. Right now, creeping up Blue Street. We'll see if he can get into Pink Tower. Ooh. Lays down some grenades. Gets hit markers, though. Might be able to clean this up, but has to retreat. He doesn't have too much help here. Yeah, not at all. I mean, he's actually on the other side of the map by himself, and that's going to be a kill there for Straight Rippin, making it 46 to 45. That new clamber mechanic coming into play here, something that you will see players take advantage of as they want to get to better uh, positions on the map. And Pistola 
waiting around to see. Pressure's on. One kill here between these two teams. They really want to win this one. This is the first taste oh, anyone's oh getting. Oh my goodness, Pistola, Pistola picks up, up one. Let's see if he can turn two. This is insane. He can challenge us as well, but he's going to wait for his shields to come back. 46-48. Yeah, they're down by two right now. They cannot That's Bane. Bane. Bane coming out. Using the thruster pack. Oh, oh my gosh. It's the bolt true. Using the thruster pack to get distance from the sword. That was a smart play there. Despite the Prophet's Bane having that increased movement speed, not going to happen as Pistola smartly enough backed away with the thruster pack. Very well played. Oh my gosh. Yeah, now only one kill separating these two teams. Pistola has to stay alive. If he dies, up, uh, excuse me, straight ribbon will only be one kill away from winning the match. That's right. One kill. One kill separates him. Pistola has about half shields having to run away. Let's see uh, who else around the map is making moves right now. Bravo. Here's Pistola oh, with the promise. No, never mind. One. Pistola Let's see is. Two stays alive. Uses the Duster Last pack, kill. And now takes a shot. Oh, my goodness. And that's going to be it, Golden Boy. GG 50 49. You couldn't have asked for a better showing. One amazing way to show off the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta. Bravo. What are your thoughts? I mean, we had both teams neck and neck throughout that entire match. In the end, Straight Ribbon was able to pull it out by one kill, but amazing thruster pack play from Pistola as well. Yeah, that's right. I'm really excited for a lot of the new mechanics, and I'm also excited to get my hands on this beta pretty soon. Yeah, we're also excited as a studio, of course, to get the player's feedback. As I mentioned, the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta is going to be coming online December 29th, included within the Master Chief Collection. I also want to announce for the first time, we didn't get to show it today, but the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta will include a basic implementation of spectator mode for the first time in Halo, and the full feature is going to be ready for the release of Halo 5 Guardians next year. All right, well, we have Justine down on the floor with some of the players to get their thoughts. Thanks, guys. So you were the first to get a chance to play Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer. I need some initial reactions. It was fun. There was a bunch of new things that we had to learn how to use. Thruster pack, shoulder uh, charge, ground and pound. And as soon as the beta comes out, I can't wait to play more than an hour and just really try to see everything I can do in the game. Yeah, I and mean, what's that like? Because there's so many new things, all these new Spartan abilities. And for you guys to just hop in there and start to play and try to figure it out, I mean, what was that like? Yeah, it def definitely was really hard to kind of utilize each one of the different skill sets um, because there is a lot to learn. But I feel like if you put a lot of hours into the game and you learn to use each one in uh, specific situations, they can be really effective and a great addition to the game. And unfortunately for you, you actually were only coaching, so you didn't get to play. So what's that like kind of going hands-on, well, not hands-on, but watching and helping out? It was amazing getting to check out the game, and I just noticed that every single game at certain points, someone would find something new. They'd either get shoulder charged or ground pounded, and it just kept evolving throughout each game. So I think it's going to be a huge learning curve. So for these people that are so used to the old style, for them to pick this up on day one, what are some tips that you would have for them? I would say it's just going to take a lot of hours to, to kind of get down all of the different abilities that you can use, but it definitely makes the game probably one of the most versatile play, uh, Halos that I've ever played just because there's so many different ways to kill the opponent. So December 29th, where will you be? In my room, locked doors, playing the beta nonstop, probably not showering and stuff like that, and just grinding until I'm the best Halo 5 beta Guardians player out there for sure. Well, the good news is you're probably not going to be alone, so I'll see you guys on Xbox Live. My favorite moment in the series would be... When the Flood comes in. You're seeing dead humans and dead Covenant, and you're like, what the f*** is going on? It wasn't just scary, it was uh, fear. 2.30 in the morning, and I've been playing, and I didn't expect it, and it scared the shit out of me. And then you open this door, and all the Flood come out. They look like baby heads on spider bot. It was so unnerving. You're running out of ammo, going, Whoa! you know, jumping up, trying to get out. Yeah, that was easily the most... Uh, the thing that resonated the most. All right, guys, I am here with Kiki Wolfkill, one of the executive producers on Halo Nightfall, and one of my favorite people, not only in the industry, in life itself, and I truly, truly mean that. And Mike Coulter, who is one of my new favorite people because he plays badass Spartan Locke in the new live action series from 343 Industries. Guys, we're at a massive event. Congratulations, first of all, uh, on being here. This is an incredible achievement. Kiki, Halo Nightfall, where are we in the series? Halo is something that people have been in for a very long time. Where does Halo Nightfall sit in that massive franchise? So Halo Nightfall is a, it's a story that takes place between the events of Halo 4 and Halo 5. Okay. And most importantly, what it does is it, it introduces Spartan Locke. And so, uh, you know, it takes place uh, across a few locations, mm -hmm. etc. But also, more importantly, the 
fragment, the only remaining fragment of the Halo ring, Alpha Halo, that was destroyed in Halo Combat Evolved. So okay. it, uh, it bridges Halo 4 and 5. It introduces a, a new character. It's undetermined if he is friend or foe. Mm -hmm. um, and Looks it brings, like us back to the, brings us back to Alpha Halo okay. for the first time since CE. Okay, cool. And, and Mike, tell us about Spartan Locke. I know that he somehow fits into Halo 5 Guardians, but tell us yeah. about the guy that you're playing and whether or not you are good or bad, because right now I'm getting like a very even vibe uh -huh. from you. Well, I need I like some consistency. Kind of ambiguous. Okay. That's kind of All right. ambiguous thing. <laughs> so in, in Halo Nightfall, is an origin story for Spartan Locke, mm -hmm. but we refer to him as Spartan Locke, but uh, the fans will get to see he's an Oni. We're starting here as an origin story, so we'll see how he develops and why he becomes a Spartan. So he will be a, one of the playable characters in, in Halo Guardians, but for right now this story is a, a, a merge between Halo Nightfall and Five mm -hmm. Guardians. So this is something that was basically going back like a prequel. We get established in this character, we'll give you some, some background of where he came from, uh -huh. but as soon as the Nightfall starts, basically it's action from the start. And so he's uh, in hot pursuit of some um, some terrorist villains, and uh, and basically we'll go right from there. So this is a nice story and basically a human story, so I hope people like it. Okay, yeah. super exciting, man. So, so I know tonight, Kiki, we're actually gonna watch chapter one. People are gonna see that uh, premiering tonight, but it's really just the beginning of a much larger story that you guys are trying to tell here. So tell me about chapters two through five. Without any spoilers, what can yeah. people expect beyond tonight's premiere? Um, I mean, Halo Nightfall is a, a five-part digital series, so mm -hmm. it's episodic. And I mean, really at its heart, it's a great sci-fi action story. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's some amazing character dynamics, um, but it's a sci-fi action story that takes place in the Halo universe. Um, we do a lot of heavy lifting in episode one to sort of give people context as okay. to where they are in the universe. Mm -hmm. um, but really, it sort of very quickly takes off into uh, really the heart of the story at the end of episode one and into t two, three, four, and five. And it's um, a very, very sort of intense action character drama. So TLDR, watch two through five because they're going to be awesome. <laughs> uh, and Mike, as we look around, clearly Halo is a franchise that means something to folks. This is a big space. There's a lot of Halo branding going on here. Yeah. It's massive. People yeah. are super excited about this. How does it feel to now be a part of this? This is a big deal. This is a cultural thing, man. Yeah, you know, it's serious. I, I, I had known about Halo for years, obviously, because it's such a brand. I mean, it's like Coca-Cola. I mean, not to, it's just established right. you know, beyond, you know, we can't even compare it to anything else. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's like, you know, it's a blue chip. It's a blue chip video dynasty. Right. And so I was really excited about it. I basically heard, you know, about it. But what attracted me was the script. As an actor, you get drawn in by the storytelling. Mm -hmm. And so I was really eager to establish a character and to tell a story about a guy who people could relate to. So to be a part of something like this, I hope the fans like it as much as I did. Because mm -hmm. when I saw it, I was like, this looks awesome. Uh, Sci-fi, adventure, thriller, action. Sign me up. I'm really excited about it. Super exciting, man. <laughs> There's no idea what he's in store for. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's awesome. So nice, yeah. so fun, but uh, you're, you're in for a ride, yes. my friend. Yes. Now, Kiki, everybody can actually watch the Halo Nightfall on the Halo channel. Tell us about the Halo channel. This is something that we're also actually yeah. in the midst of launching right now. Yeah, like so literally about, right now. How's that working out? Yeah, so Halo channel, uh, Xbox One and Windows. Mm -hmm. uh, we went live today. Uh, so uh, Halo Nightfall will premiere uh, tonight mm -hmm. at actually 9 p.m. Okay. Um, on the Halo channel, and, and you know the Halo channel is sort of our it's a combination of interactive app and you know sort of premium network, and it kind of pulls all of our experiences together. So there'll be sort of unique interactive features associated with Nightfall, but we also have a ton of other programming we've built. Okay. Uh, and so it runs 24 seven, you can jump right into a game. We run Twitch streams nice. as part of our programming. Mm -hmm. And so it's- So it's a big deal. It is. Yeah. It, you know, for us it's, you know, how do we think about changing programming and making it about both gaming experiences and shows and sort of all of the pieces that have always made mm -hmm. Halo such a transmedia IP. Right. How do we put them in one place, have them feel like entertainment and be able to move seamlessly between them. Right. And you have achieved that. So if you <laughs> want Halo stuff and you can't find it on the Halo channel, then you're not looking hard enough because it is all there. Yeah. Uh, guys, congratulations again on thank a you. huge night for both of you. Thank, thank you both you. for being here. Uh, and thank you guys so much at home for watching along with us here at Halo Fest 2014. Make sure you pick up the Master Chief Collection because you're going to get uh, Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta access in addition to all of the episodes of Halo Nightfall and Halo 2 Anniversary, which looks absolutely incredible. Uh, thank you again for, for joining me. Thank you to Larry, to Justine, to Freddie, to everyone at home for watching it. Now, guys, it is my honor, truly, to be standing here with both of you as we premiere for the very first time Halo Nightfall.
possibilities taking shape under each new day's sun. But what if the next time that sun rose, there were no possibilities at all? Only death. Yours. And of everything you've ever known. How would you act in that darkness beforehand? How would you go out? We are simple things, soldiers. We are taught honor. Honor means sacrifice. Sacrifice means death. Either our own or our enemies. In some ways, beneath it all, that's all a soldier's really trained for. To undo all of God's work. To take life where only God can give it. Were it that we were not soldiers, but gods. I'll tell you, Locke. Worst thing about being at peace with the Covenant? We're used to this. Trailing small fish. Never know. Chad, we've been getting off this guy. He's up to something. Something that would not bode well for the UNSC. Any bets on what he's carrying? Drugs. Exotic fauna. You actually just said that, didn't you? Gotta say something to keep it interesting. That interesting enough for you? Vector in. What's the Covenant dropship doing here? Backwater? Like Cedra? City access tunnel. Might lose calm inside. Roger that. Horrigan, mark my last.
lost. What's there? Talk to me. Main market. Maybe 500 Cedrons. Damn it. We gotta take him out. Cedron passports get entrance. I've got wounded, Colonel. We can talk politics later. Go ahead. Get him to Deacon Unit with the rest of his team. I don't want him spreading this thing if it's contagious. Yes, sir, Colonel. Like that, someone can play God to you. Someone you don't know. Invisible like a malevolent force beyond the firmament. Taking from you our only birthright. Life. Gets us? Medical says they've never seen anything like it. But if we're not showing symptoms at this point, we might be in the clear. What the hell did they do to us? away are being affected. Population of this ward is 100% human. 
It's not affecting other species. You're saying they got their hands on a compound that selectively kills humans and nothing else? It's not a compound, an element. The closest they can pin it is the 120 family, but with a transmutation of some sort that makes it something no one's ever seen. This thing randomly compromises human DNA, but not others. Covenant's found the Holy Grail then, haven't they? A way of wiping us out without firing a shot. We were supposedly not even at war. The question is, why Cedra? Why use this on an outer continent? Why not hit population centers like Gannick 22? Test one, probably. Porous borders, mixed population. This one works, they go for the big fish. Cedrus think this is the mining tug that was used to smuggle in the element. The pilots can't be found. Check it out, Estrin. Yes, sir. Hey, Lock. Here comes our Cedrum Colonel. What do you got? Let you know when the time's right. I suggest we work together on this. We both want the same thing. Only doesn't work alongside anyone. It's just you and everyone else way below. So you know, I don't write policy. My two soldiers are up in ICU because of that blast. Soldiers I'm responsible for. I'm asking you as a fellow officer. Show them back to the base, Mesa. Sir. You're gonna tell me who flew that tug. You keep playing stupid, you'll be dead inside an hour. Colonel Lincoln. Mind if we step in, take a shot? All I mind is you shutting up and knowing your place. <coughs> this is on you, you know that, don't you? They went after us, they were after you, UNSC. Because you were operating here on our turf. You take the good with the bad, and the UNSC have done a lot of good for you. You're here to expand UNSC's power, nothing else. Without a clue about the cultures you assimilate. Can't tell Ska Fjok Obtinif never refuse Yarnem. Axel, look at all. Look at all the Latin Shallow. Axel, look at all the Shallow. Vlog Vic. Style it here. Lock tag Rona to it is. Narjim. On legal ya old crow. Stein, Axel, the law. Suge, inform. The taxel snipe lament. The tyro. Ekena. Greet, Axel. Axel, the tool for Eldis. He says he's only a middleman. Yes, I'll get back for you. Told him to carry some things to the landing site, not to ask any questions. Axel, yes. But he did anyhow. Axel, yes, I'll get to it. Yes, I'll. Couldn't find out what he was carrying, but what could do I get? Found out where it came from. Cut his leg. Says the source from a place no one will go. He says the source from hell. Cut he crat of flat ugly name. A place so doomed, even the elite zealots won't go there. So they buy from someone who will. We work backward through the tug's positioning. You're never gonna believe where we end up. Intense red giant. Half a dozen charred planets around it, but that's not the interesting part. Piece of the halo. That's Alpha Halo. Exactly. The weapon Master Chief destroyed. And now it's come back to haunt us. The explosion in the triggered slip space scatters the ring debris across the galaxy. This one apparently ends up in our red giant's orbit. You 
major peace violation if anyone went there. Treaty says no one goes back to the ring, not UNSC, not Covenant. You think this is where they're sourcing the element? Problem is, there's no record of an element like that on the Halo ring. Before the explosion. After it could be a different story. Got a point, Private? Get to it. Me, sir. Private first class, sir. And the point's easy. For all we know, what blew up the Halo ring was a supernova level event. Right push and pull of fission and fusion, and new elements formed, like our mystery element. Let me guess, you majored in physics. No, regional nav. Physics I just looked through when I was bored. Display object's composition. Element range 120 to 130. Cross-reference other planets, celestial bodies with this element. Expand search. Galaxies. Known universe. Looks like we got a one-off. An element fatal to humans. Native to this little piece of halo ring and nowhere else. 96 square kilometers. We could nuke it. Launch it from a destroyer. Hold up on that. What do you got, Estra? Another inbound. Tug, just like this one. Looks like someone's going back to no man's land. We don't have a lot of time, Admiral. The bone move, Locke. Send a team in, destroy the deposits, nab whoever it is that's mining the stuff. And find out who they're selling it to. We know who they're selling to. Just need proof. Hard proof the Covenant's broken the treaty. Then give me the okay. We're the only ones in the region who can do anything about it. Sir, if I may... Which is, I think there's more you should know. Because of its orbit, this piece of the ring has got rotation just like any other planet. But the spins are fast. Full day-night cycles, only 16 hours. And? Well, because of proximity to that star, daytime temperatures reach 900 degrees. They're working the night shift. Harvesting the element and the long gone before the sun comes up. Cools to about 130 degrees or so at night because of the mass. Gotta hand it to them. They do have balls. We still have enough time to get there before they're done. We destroy the deposits with the Havoc, grab our smugglers, be off planet within hours. Havoc's a big ask. These are big circumstances, sir. Look, you want to do this tonight. Your only option is the Cedrans. Where's Aiken? Well, he's not to be accessed, sir. He's not to be accessed, sir. Heard about the Halo ring. Never thought we'd actually step foot on it. 
Won't be the halo ring of yours, that's for sure. They're hooking us up with a condor. Good enough. Looks like there's strings attached. Sir? Oxygen packs. Yes, sir. We weren't planning on co-oping this thing. You underestimate Cedrin's commander. We get punched in the mouth, we don't just outsource our fight to other people. We were better alone. You're lucky Oni's even coming in an advisory capacity. We're the ones gonna be doing all the heavy lifting. We'll see about that. Lift off's in ten. We can't do this. These people are two centuries behind us. I still believe in Valhalla. I don't think we have a choice, Hargan. Ever seen a Havoc nuke before? Our friend's wrong about us. We can't fight. This is a Sedrin operation. But we'll be the ones sending the nuke. Last chance, Colonel. We can do this on our own. We do this as a team. Something about this place freaks me out. Whole thing's fried. Used to be rivers, forests. Who's living is dead now. Not getting any movement. Got a cave, Mesa. Your weapons, I'm telling you! What the hell are they? They can even sense your movements. We gotta get out of this hole.
just it's tired of this. Where is uh, it? Oh, the boxes. You know, it's like when a great album is remastered for a new medium. Halo 2 was a big part of my life. Um, and I'm excited to relive that. No, we're no. not. We're no. not excited Could about it. Could not care less. Sorry. Probably not. Um, <laughs> not. Um, <laughs>